With Access Delta, you can configure a product to be tracked by attributes such as batch, sell by date and serial number. In this video, we are going to look at locating batch track stock, placing stock on hold to make it unavailable and allocate it to an order for returning to the supplier. Also, we will identify where affected goods have been dispatched to to assist in product recall. In Access Delta, stock is graphically represented on the warehouse map. I can click on each rectangle which represents a location. Here I can view what stock is in that location, what quantity and any tracked attributes such as batch, sell by date and serial number. If I wanted to see all the locations in a warehouse that hold a specific product, the warehouse map filter makes locating stock simple. Here I am looking to find all the stock I have of a product called Toy Bus using the filter. By clicking on details I can view a list of locations currently holding stock of this product along with its status and any tracked attributes. If I close this and click OK, I can have the filter place a yellow square on all locations containing stock match in my search criteria and by clicking on show me I can cycle through the locations. So let's say the supplier or stock owner of Toy Bus has issued a product recall. The stock owner has identified that this recall affects only batch 20180606. I can return to my filter, enter the advanced search and specify my batch. From here I can see if I have any of the affected batch in stock, and in this case I have three pallets. To ensure this batch is no longer valid for picking, I will place it on hold. This allows me to still move the stock about the warehouse, but makes it unable to be advised for any order unless specified. To place stock on hold, I can simply click on any location holding my stock, ensure the line is highlighted and click hold. I will be presented with all locations containing this product together with the batch. Here I will filter to show only the recalled batch, place the stock on hold. I can see now that my stock is on hold. Now, or at any point, I can run the batch traceability report. This report details all the stock I have of a product by batch and also lists orders dispatched containing that batch. This report can then be exported to PDF and emailed to the stock owner and used to contact those affected by the recall. The final step is returning stock to the supplier. This can be done quickly through Delta as I am demonstrating here. By choosing the product and specifying my hold reference, I can ensure the correct stock is allocated against my order. If orders enter the WMS via integration, then the same result can be achieved by the host system specifying the hold reference against the order lines. And finally, once the order has been created, pickers can be sent to pick the stock and send it to the supplier. 